हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शो न्यू हाउ टू बिकम ए हाईली पेड आई टी प्रो रियली फैस्ट सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज हाउ टू शेयर योर स्क्रीन इन अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स मीटिंग द राइट वे वेल बिकॉज ऑफ पेंडेमिक वी ऑल हैव यूज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट टीम्स इन दास्ट टू ईयर्स and all of us must have used it for different reasons some of us used it to attend our classes and some of us have used it to deliver lectures presentation and for many more other reasons it is very likely that we must have shared our screen using the microsoft teams with team members but today i'll show you that how you can share your screen properly and how you can use it on optimal level and i will also talk about the potential mistakes that we may or would have made in the past while sharing our screen using the microsoft teams so as you can see here i am into my microsoft teams application and here i have different channels i'll go to a particular channel and after that i will start a meeting in here to do that here we have a button which says meeting i will just click on it I will just mute my mic and after that I will just click on join now. Here you can see my meeting has just got started and now what I can do I can invite different people into this particular meeting but that is not the agenda of today's video. So now in order to share our screen you just need to click on this particular button which says share content. I will just click on it and after that I will have different options in order to share my screen. either i can share my screen what it will do it will share my whole system means whatever i'll perform on to my system will get shared and will be visible to the attendees of this particular meeting the second option is this one from here what it will do it will only share a particular screen which i will share with my audience let's say i'm going to share this particular one which says final presentation i will just click on it and now this particular screen will get shared with my audience and nothing else will be visible to them anything i'll do on to my end will not be visible to my participant in the meeting for example if i open my this word document this will only be visible to me and my team members will keep on looking at the microsoft powerpoint presentation because i have shared that one to my team members well as you can see here I can see the whole Microsoft PowerPoint presentation or you can say the slides at the whole level of my screen but this will not be the case with the other team members they will be seeing this particular presentation in the center of their screen means some part from the left side some part from the right top and bottom will be blacked out and they will see all of these slides in the center of their screen there might be a chance that they might miss some of the content from my presentation in order to improve this we have a shortcut and that is i'll go to my desktop from here right click on it and now i'll go to my display settings here you can see the scale and layout of my screen is 125% at the moment what i can do from here i can change the scale or you can say the resolution of my screen let's say i go with 175% now what it will do it will improve the screen size or you can say the resolution of my powerpoint and my audience will be able to see all of this content in much better way so this is how you can improve the screen sharing with your audience now i'll go back to my teams and now i will stop sharing my screen from here now let's again click on it and this time i will share my screen here what does it mean by sharing screen well as i have told you earlier that it will share my whole system with my attendees mean anything i will do on to my system will be visible to the team members which are present in this particular team and now as you can see i am on to my microsoft word document and now let's move on to our powerpoint presentation and now my team will also be able to see this change so any activity i'll perform on to my screen will be visible to the attendees on to this particular meeting there is one more shortcut key or you can say there is one more trick and that is just press control and your plus key what it will do it will increase the size of your presentation or or your screen 
and it will be more visible and more feasible for the attendees to look onto the content which is being presented to them through Microsoft Teams. And now I will again go back to my Microsoft Teams and now again I will stop sharing. Now let's again click on this sharing button and now I will again go to my PowerPoint slideshow and for that I'll go to my this window option and from here I will select my Microsoft presentation slides. Here it is, I will just click on it and now this is being visible to my team members. Now here is one more option and that is we have the slideshow button in our Microsoft PowerPoint. So if I click on this one, now the presentation is being shared with my team members. So this is how you can share the slideshow of your Microsoft PowerPoint with your team members. There is one another way that you can use to share the slideshow particularly with your team members. I'll show you that how it works. For that, let me go back to my Microsoft Teams. I'll stop sharing. And now I'll go back to my Microsoft PowerPoint. And from here, I will start the slideshow. Here you can see the slideshow has just got begun, but this is not being shared with my team members at the moment. To do so, I'll go back to my Microsoft Teams. And from here, I'll click on share content. And from here, again, I'll click on my Windows section. Now, here you can see we have two PowerPoint options. First one is final presentation PowerPoint and the second one is PowerPoint slideshow. Means you can directly select and go for slideshow which you have just started before sharing your content. If I just click on it, here you can see the PowerPoint slideshow has just got started and it is being shared with my team members on its own. So I'll just get out of this. And here I will show you one more thing that is a really good one and a really important one as well. I will stop my sharing and again I will start sharing but this time I'll go with Microsoft PowerPoint and not the slideshow. So I will just click on it and from here I will click on slideshow and now if you can see here we have different tools or you can say different buttons available at the bottom of our presentation. If I click on this pen what it will allow us it will allow us to do different intidation or use different colors of pen onto our presentation. So if I use it here, I will change the color here. I will go with the black one and here you can see I'm doing different things onto my presentation. All of these tweaks or you can say all of these different things are visible to my audience as well. This is the beauty of PowerPoint and Microsoft Teams that anything you perform onto your screen will be visible to your audience. And last but not the least, there is one more important thing. I'll show you that how it works and what it is. Well, again, click on your share content button and this time I will not share my screen and neither I will share my windows. This time I will click on this option which says browse my computer. You can go with browse OneDrive and what it will do, it will take you to your OneDrive and from there you can open anything. But I'll go with browse my computer option. From here, I'll go to the directory where I have my PowerPoint presentation and I'll show you that how it will work. Here is my presentation. I will just double click on it and it will get directly shared with my team members. But there is one major difference between sharing like this and with sharing the presentation by opening it into your system first and then sharing it. And here you can see it is preparing our slides and after some times we are good to go. So here you can see our presentation is ready to be presented. Here we have two major difference and that is from here we can change the slide numbers and we can go with the flow of our presentation. And here we have one option and that is if I just click on it, here you can see we have a line onto it. It means the participant will not be able to move or change the slide from here. In case if I again click on it, now all the participants which are present in this particular team or you can say in this particular meeting are able to change this slideshow or you can say change the number of slides in the presentation. As you can see here, I am moving my slides number and I'm moving forward towards the end of this particular presentation. The participant in this particular meeting can do as well. But if I click on this option and now they will not be able to do anything with this particular presentation. 
and only I'm having the privileges of moving the slides and using different annotations and using different pens and different tools in this particular presentation. So this is how you can use Microsoft team to share your screen with different particular manners. I will just click on this stop presenting and what it will do, it will stop the presentation to the participants of this particular meeting. And with that, we got to the end of today's video. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it. If you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.